Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have to start this video off with a disclaimer. I probably do. And this disclaimer is just going to be that I don't ever put out negative reviews usually. I've never had to. I've never had a negative experience. I'm not a negative person and I'm hoping for the best possible outcome from providing you guys with this video and I'm just going to ask you to please not hate on me. Please don't assume that I'm bashing a brand. I'm not bashing a brand. This is just my personal opinion. You guys are entitled to your opinion and I'm entitled to mine. So if you guys have a problem with negative reviews, don't watch the rest of this video. That's all I have to say. And if you want to see my review of the Kylie Cosmetics Kai Majesty, then just keep watching. So a few weeks back, I did a giveaway on my channel after I reviewed the Kylie Lip Kit in Exposed. And I loved that lip kit. I have a lot of Kylie Cosmetics products. I've had two shopping experiences with her before that went perfectly smoothly and I really enjoyed what I got for my money. So I decided I wanted to do another giveaway. I wanted to give you guys another product from Kylie that you guys wanted and requested. So I ran a couple polls on my Snapchat and on my Twitter to see what you guys were interested in and one of the last launches of Kai Majesty probably for a really long time. I don't know if it's never coming back but Kylie did say that the last launch when I bought these it would be a while until you could get it again so I decided this is the perfect giveaway prize I can get this for you guys and to review for myself and you guys would get something that's even harder to get as if these are not hard enough to get already so these are my first metal liquid lipsticks and these are in the shade Kai Majesty so what this shade claimed to be on Instagram was a blue black metal metallic lipstick and it's matte so right off the bat when I opened my package with these lipsticks in it I knew that one of them was for you guys and one of them was for me and I did cancel this giveaway just a disclaimer there will not be a giveaway on Kai Majesty because I don't want to give away something I don't believe in but anyways I opened the box and I chose one to open for myself it's the one I was going to review and I'm going to review so this liquid lipstick right here is half empty it first came with a little gap right here and I'm going to be inserting pictures and snapchats along with this so you guys can see the proof because I had a lot of backlash when I posted a picture of this lipstick on Facebook everyone was telling me oh this is normal it's just a settled product product moves around in the tube it's normal I'm telling you this is not normal I will show you the snapchats for yourself and you can see but I know that this is not normal because this one is half empty and the one that I bought for you guys was full so right off the bat I was disappointed obviously I ordered this because I wanted it for myself and I wanted to review it I really wanted it to be beautiful amazing I wanted you guys to love it I wanted it to be a great giveaway and having it be half empty really wouldn't change anything but I honestly don't like the quality of the product either. So I'm going to insert a series of Snapchats from my Snapchat. You guys can follow me if you want to. I put everything on there first, but I'm going to insert the clip, the series of snaps. It's going to show you the empty bottle. It's going to show you my first swatch of this, and it's pretty much going to sum up how I feel about this product. I'm not sure if this is normal, guys. I just got my Kai Majesties, and mine is not full. Do you see this? So this is the one I opened first. I'm going to check the one that I bought for you guys just to see if it's full. Of course, if I do the giveaway, I'll give you the full one if it's full. The one on the left is full. This one on the right is not full. What the actual, like, I don't know what to do about this. No. Okay, her swatch is really, really sheer, so I'm going to try to build it up. can't get product off onto the tube because this is like empty so that might be the problem but this is really sheer this swatch is three coats so I just swirled the sides of this so that you guys can see that this shit is empty so all I'm doing is pushing against the side and swirling it up and you guys can see it literally balls up into a chunk so I decided against a giveaway 
So I'm going to just test this one out and see if it does the same thing. As you guys can see, this one is definitely more full, but it does still do that kind of balled up effect, but not nearly as bad as the other one. So I'm not wearing anything on my lips today because I am going to try this again on camera for you guys. I did try it on my lips before. I have a few things that I want to talk about before I try this on again and show you what it looks like on me. And I actually have like a little notepad open on my phone so I can tell you guys exactly what I wanted to tell you about this kit because I've never done a negative review before and I really just want to cover all my bases here. First off, I did contact customer service. I haven't heard anything back, but when I did post about this on Twitter, I had at least five people reach out to me saying that the same thing happened to them. A couple of those people did contact Kylie Cosmetics and their customer service. They were told that it's normal. They were told it's supposed to be like that, and they were told that this is supposed to be a more sheer formula than the other metals. Now, I don't believe that a black pigmented lipstick should be more sheer than any other color, and when you apply this, you will see for yourself it's buildable, but it just doesn't seem right. It seems like there's something wrong with the formula. It's very chunky, but sheer. Like It's very hard to explain, but it balls up in the tube into a little chunk, but when you put it on your lips, it's like there's nothing there. It also is not black. And please do not be fooled. It is not a black metal liquid lipstick. It is not fully matte. This transfers like crazy. Whether you swatch it on your hand or your lips, it's going to come off if you rub your lips. Also, if you're wearing this and you rub your lips together, you can get it to where it's patchy and you can see your lips through this lipstick. So I'm just going to tell you if you already purchased this, the thing that it could be good for is getting a perfect picture out of it and then wiping it off and going on your merry way. So Kylie Cosmetics told another person on my Twitter that had the same problem with the sheerness of this product that in order to get the full effect of Kai Majesty, you need to use this lip product with the Dead of Night lip liner. Now I do not feel like that is correct. I feel like that is false advertisement. I don't think that you should have to use a black lip liner to get it to look like how it looked on Kylie Jenner's lips. If she wanted to market it that way, this should have come with a lip liner. This should have been a lip kit, something different than the metals. If this has a different formula than the metals, this should be something different altogether. And I told my boyfriend when I first got this, there is no way that in Kylie's pictures, she's only wearing this lipstick. She has to be wearing a black lip liner. And they even told the girl on Twitter that you need to apply the black lip liner all over your lips. Now, I do not own a black lip liner. I don't own any black lipsticks. This was my first, and I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that wanted to order this because it's something different that they don't own, something you can use if you want a really dramatic look that you've never done before. And I'm sure there are a lot of people out there like me that don't have a black lip liner or a black lipstick, and they should have told you that before you bought it, that you need a black lip liner or a black lipstick all over your lips first in order for this to look like it looked on Kylie. Another problem that I have with Kylie Cosmetics is that they don't offer refunds because this is not what we paid for. This is half of what I paid for and I didn't know that you needed a black lip liner so I feel like it's false advertisement and it costed $18 a piece and I bought two of them and I can't give this away now because it's a shit product and I don't want to give you guys something that you don't deserve. I don't want to make you work for something that is crappy. And on top of that $18 that you're spending for each of these, you are paying a bunch in shipping as well, which I also think is ridiculous. I think that if Kylie Cosmetics wants to cater to more people, they should make it free shipping over $50 or something. Free shipping over a certain amount of dollars. I think their shipping cost is absolutely ridiculous and it's just ridiculous. <laughs> So I will say that this color is buildable. It came off really sheer in my first swatch, as you can see, but after two, three, four coats, you can get it to be opaque. But 
that doesn't really mean anything because if you want to rub your lips together it transfers it's going to be patchy the formula is not good and I'm telling you guys this because that is how I feel that is my truth it could be working for some of you guys and that's great if it is to each their own but to me this formula is not worth $18 I honestly tried to think of what I would pay for something like this trying to leave out the fact that it's half empty and I would not pay more than maybe $5 for this if this was in the drugstore. The only reason that this is the price that it is is because of Kylie. And I think it's ridiculous that millions of people are getting ripped off. And I think that every brand has a right to make mistakes, but you need to come out and fix them. Just like she fixed the wands on the first lip glosses, I feel like she needs to address the fact that Kai Majesty is not like the other metals. It's not like the liquid lipsticks. It is more chunky, more glittery. It's not a smooth metal finish. It's a glittery finish, and it's kind of gritty. So my original plan was to buy these two lipsticks. I wasn't going to do a review, I was going to do a makeup tutorial. And in my makeup tutorial, I was going to try to use Kai Majesty as a liquid eyeliner. And I'm telling you right now, you could not do that because it's so sheer, it has a weird consistency to it. It would just be like putting watery sand on your eye. And that's the best that I can explain this as. I really wanted to do that and I wanted to love it and I wanted it to be creamy and smooth and pigmented and it's just not. So I am going to do my absolute best right now for those of you who did purchase this, who can't get a refund, who can't get any justification, I'm going to try my best to make this look good. I do not have a black lip liner. My number one recommendation for anyone with this dilemma would be to go get a black lip liner. Another thing that I want to mention is that there are plenty of dupes out there for this. There are plenty of videos out there. I know that Nikki Tutorials did one where you can create your own Kai Majesty and I'm telling you right now what Nikki Tutorials did in her video. I will link it down in the description box would come out 10 times better than this. It would come out actually blue-black instead of gray, and I think it would look very beautiful. That's what I'm going to be doing. I don't think I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of this, unfortunately. Even if Kylie Cosmetics sends me another Kai Majesty, if they respond to my email, I will let you guys know, but I don't know what I'll do with it. I canceled this giveaway because I really don't believe in this product. I don't want to give you guys something, make you work for something that I don't like, so I don't, I can't give it away to you guys, so I might give it away to family or something that want it. I'm not gonna rip anyone off and try to sell it because that's exactly what it is. It's a rip off. So what I'm going to do right now is try to make this look good, try to show you guys what it looks like on my lips, and yeah, I'm going to be trying it for the first time on camera right now, and I'm not going to try to make it look bad or anything. I'm going to try to make it look good because I would love to get some good pictures out of this. I already know that the formula is really crappy, so I mean, I told you guys my truth, and you guys can do with it what you will, and now let's see what this looks like on my lips. I did stir this around so that I could get some product on it. I'm going to show you guys the doe foot applicator of this. Now I don't know what the metals are supposed to look like. I'm sure it's kind of a weird consistency, but the doe foot applicator looks jacked. I mean, it's just my opinion. I, I don't really know if it's supposed to look like this or not. It's fine. It's just a doe foot applicator, but it does look jacked. And my boyfriend was like, what is that? <laughs> Please do not mind my undernails, they're disgusting. But there is the applicator. It just looks messy, it looks frayed, it just looks bad. So I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this a little better. So there is one coat. It definitely needs another coat to look good. I'm going to get as much of this out of the tube as I can. I want to say it's like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. That's what it feels like. It's like a moussey texture, but it has grittiness to it because of the glitter. It's not smooth. It's not what I expected and it's not what I wanted it to be. It doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick. It feels like a lip cream and it it's definitely not a fully matte product. It doesn't dry matte. So I'm going to try to build this up. And 
and it's very hard to get a clean line because this is not matte black this is gray and it's sheer so you really have to go over your lines a few times I don't know if you guys can tell but this is not that beautiful metallic blue black color that I was expecting and that were in the photos I don't know if you guys can tell, but it balls up on the applicator, which causes little balls of product to kind of go over the lines. Alrighty, so I kind of just cleaned up the edges of the lipstick with a baby wipe because that is how easy it is to get this off. It's not a liquid lipstick, and I know it probably isn't meant to be a liquid lipstick. I don't know what the matte metals really claim to do, but... It's not what I expected, and I'm sure it's not what a lot of you guys expect. And my main goal of this is to tell you that this product does not meet my standards for an $18 product. Therefore, I believe it does not meet your standards because you guys deserve better than this. So, as long as that took me to put on, and as much as I do not want to ruin this, I need to show you how it transfers. So we're going to do a little quick kiss test. It's been on my lips for a while now. I do think it's pretty. But I'm going to say it's more of a gunmetal gray color. It is certainly not a blue black. In my opinion, it's not blue black at all. It's not, I really wanted it to be like blue black. I, I don't even know what to say. It does not look like Kylie's lips in her Instagram picture. I'm gonna insert her Instagram picture right here, the one I'm talking about. I don't look like that and my lips don't look like that. And I feel like you could get a much better look with a black liquid lipstick and then tap some blue pigmented glitter on it I think that would be beautiful and look way better than this and be way cheaper than this and yeah <laughs> so we're gonna do a kiss test and ruin what I have just put on my lips so there you can see some transfer and what I notice on my lips I put three or four coats on my top and bottom lip and my bottom lip looks okay it's pretty thick and it's on there good but my top lip has patches I have a patch right here where I can see through down here where I can see through and over here where I can see through the problem is with studio lights or flash or anything you guys are gonna see a flashback from this metallic lip that kind of doesn't show you the patches and that's fine for pictures and I think this is great for pictures but if you're out there in everyday life people are gonna see your lips through your lipstick and that's not what you want but yeah I don't know this is something that I wanted to love I wanted to share with you guys I wanted so badly to wear it and enjoy it and it's dry feeling it's gritty feeling it transfers it bleeds when you apply it you need a lip liner for it to be as black as it was on Kylie's lips and it's not what it claims to be and on top of it all they sent me probably half or three quarters of what was supposed to be in the tube I haven't heard anything back yet I'll let you guys know when I hear anything or if I hear anything but I'm very disappointed I would not spend my money on this again and depending on how the Kylie Cosmetics customer service team gets back to me this might be my last purchase from Kylie Cosmetics and I feel like something's not quite right with the customer service obviously something's not quite right with the quality control because a lot of us are getting empty half empty majesties and that's not right I feel like the controversy of Kylie Cosmetics is not entirely true because I have her products right here to show you I want to just prove to you guys I have literally and like the glosses I love the glosses I love the smell of these and another thing I will mention I love the smell of this matte metal I like the smell of the matte metal better than any of the other products I don't know it's very vanilla very cupcakey these are more like candy scented and I didn't really pay attention to what exposed really smelled like but all of these I really like I am kind of sad because I have a feeling that customer service is not going to do me justice with this tube problem um, they could though they could come through and if they do then I'll let you guys know but at the same time even if they send me a replacement I don't like this formula so please don't hate on me for giving you guys my opinion it's just my opinion take it for what it is this is how this product worked for me I would love to know if you guys have Kai Majesty if you like it if you don't like it if it came half empty you guys need to contact customer service because a lot of people are coming at me telling me oh it's just settled it's normal no my tube is literally half empty so 
that's wrong, I'm being ripped off. So if you guys have this problem with a half empty tube, please email them, let them know that it's an issue and hopefully this will be resolved. Hopefully those of us with half empty tubes will get good ones, full ones sent to us. I really hope that they reformulate this if they bring it back because the formula of this is horrible. Please let me know if you have a matte metal from her, not Kai Majesty, and if it's a very different consistency or if you have both. Please let me know if they're exactly the same or if they're different. I would love to know that. So yeah, please let me know all your information on these. <laughs> if it's the same, if it's different, I don't care. Leave me your opinion down below. Thank you guys so much for listening to me and watching me. I don't recommend this product. If you were on the fence about it, I wouldn't buy it. I'm just telling you, save your money. It's $18 that you could spend elsewhere and you could go create a dupe. I'm telling you, go check out Nikki Tutorial's video. Go create yourself a dupe for this product and I'm sure it would last longer, it would look way more beautiful, and it would be cheaper. So if I left anything out, I will leave everything down in the description box that I have to say about this. I don't think I did. I think that's everything that I have to say. I'm sorry for putting negative vibes out there. I always want to maintain a positive channel, but if I can save my subscribers some money, even save some of you out there some money because millions of people shop from Kylie Cosmetics, then I've done my job and it was worth it to me because I just lost 50 bucks out the window for these. So at least I can spread the word and that's what I'm doing. That's what I've chosen to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new videos every single week and they're not always negative, but I will always stay honest with you guys regardless of anything, regardless of if I was paid to talk about something, if it was sent to me, I will always be honest with you guys. And if I hate something, I will tell you. And this is my first time having to do that. So thank you guys for supporting me and having my back, all of you guys on Twitter who were supporting me. I really appreciate it. And Snapchat, I love you guys so much. Go ahead and follow me on my other platforms. I always talk about these things first over there and then I get on here and then I post my videos. So yeah, I love you guys so much. I'll quit rambling now. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Oh, there's a chunk.